What? Another Castile game? Now, with special effects, like this green screen, there are two of me now. Over I'm here. I'm over here. How did I do this? Ooh. Even over here. So yeah, we were playing Castile. What is this, like, campaign number four? But this time, with roleplay. Lots and lots of roleplay. Maybe a little too much roleplay. Here, all oh, faithful subjects of the Holy See, by the grace of God and the authority vested in His Holiness, Pope Eugenius IV, the Papal State. Is this guy using chat GPT? Ban him. Ban him now. Ban him now. So why am I playing Castile again? Well, it's obviously because Castile has one of the most potential for pure, unadultered roleplay, master of roleplay in RP, top number one roleplay in the world. Uh, the real reason is my friend Tommy K was going to be playing in his first MP of this size and organization. Legit 64 players in this MP game. What better way to teach someone than me being Castile and them on Portugal while I hold his hand on the opener and the important things to know when you play Europa Universalis multiplayer for the first time. Oh, this is important because this will uh, give you 200 admin mana and 200 diplo mana. To keep the theme of the campaign, I will also be presenting you this video in a role play style. Our objectives are going to be centered around our missions as well as our ruler traits and what we think Castile would do in these kind of situations. After advising the Portuguese on how to start their voyages and try to venture into the unknown, it was time to focus on Castile. We had basically completed the Reconquista with just a little slip left. Instead of being hostile to the AI Aragon, we allied and royal married them. We also did the same with the Portuguese, who are our best friends. Our nobility were factionalized. They were all striving for power for the crown, causing issues, especially since some of those nobles were the cousins and the family members of the King of Aragon, leading to a tipping point disaster. We had to deal with these problems and maybe even go into a civil war. So while we deal with it, we needed to make sure that our southern and northern borders were secured. Diplomacy. In terms of diplomacy, Morocco is not responding to my messages. Hello, is this, is this the Sultan of Morocco? Emissary, yes. The Emissary of Morocco. Here, me, uh, the King of Castile, King Juan de Tastamara, I propose to you an age of prosperity and development. I have no quarrels and no need to expand into Morocco or into Northern Africa and would like to maintain friendly relations with the Moroccans. I know you just started raiding my coasts, but we'll look past that in the name of prosperity. I don't think that. I don't think the Sultan is a uh, range of posts. Yes, so are you down for this age of prosperity? The Sultan is keen on reconciliation, let's say, between the Iberians and, you know, the Africans across the Strait. The deal of prosperity was fostered with Morocco. And since we were playing as a righteous king, as long as King Juan was leading Castile, we had to honor the deal with Morocco. Since we were industrious and a scholar, our main focus was being up to date on technology and building up the industry of Castile. After dealing with the Infantes of Aragon, we were experiencing prospering times. Gunis calls for help against the aggressive Moroccan Sultanate. Any, any help against these scum will come with great reward. Oh, poor guy. I made a deal with Morocco. Rest in peace, Tunis. Time to complete the Reconquista. And we did successfully by eating up Granada and expelling the Muslims there. Negligible. Q's on Holland, yeah. So here's player map mode chat. While we were focusing on our industry and building up a strong Castile, going infrastructure ideas first, 
it seemed the other European powers had different priorities on their mind, mainly the New World. But I didn't even know what that was. When I look west, this is what I see. That didn't stop a crazy and delusional Henry VI from barging into my throne room. I, I had a vision, per se. Henry, in one of his fever dreams, he, he drew a picture, a map, of, the, of a land out west. And he called it the United States of America. I need this land. Is it time? Understand. Is it time to gather? Is it time to gather the Catholics and begin bearing up the New World? I don't even know what the New World is. What New World? If you go west, you go to India, dude. Yeah, what does that mean? Course, what are you talking about? Course. Apparently, there's an untapped island over there. Henry, he swears by it. Apparently, there's like Norse pagans over there. Norse pagans. He said that's where Valhalla has always been. We just never knew. What? The Norwegians are saying- Wait, what is this? Oh, we're gonna get the King of Norway in here. Hello? King of Norway? Yo, what up? So- <laughs> Yo, what up? <laughs> Yo, um... So, we're hearing some news that you know some information about West. I was just telling them, if you go West, you go- you see India. Yes, as I said in the... <laughs> As I said in the live chat, or whatever it's called, I have reached a new continent. You've already reached a new continent? You're already there? Well, my, sa my sailors have been there, but not. they haven't landed yet. Ah. They will be very soon. Ah, okay. So what have you found? What have you found in the West? Just a bunch of tundra, forest, and taiga. Nothing very interesting. Very That's a bad joke. <laughs> I think we'll call it Greenland. That kids is how Greenland oh got its name. <laughs> <laughs> so my my great guy, Diego Gomez, my explorer, has found land! I didn't tell anyone yet. Let me show you the maps, my friend. Wait. While Portugal, England, and Norway are colonizing and exploring west, Isabella was born in Castile, taking the air role of the Castilian throne. This event stopped the civil war from happening in Castile, and finally, the nobility stopped revolting. Like how Isabella is expansionist, and she's five years old. Like, how does she know? How do they know? I am binding my dynasty with Aragon's. And now Aragon oh, is under a personal union with Castile. Songhai explorers, which had traveled through the Maghreb, would arrive on unfamiliar continent. The Sultan of Songhai had learned about the culture and tradition of your kingdom. The Sultan of Songhai wants open relations. Diplomat from Songhai is welcomed inside the royal palace. Here, wary traveler, what brings you brings you to my court? And have you heard? The unfathomable, fathomable, fathomable word of God. Jesus can save you. Larp, 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 larp. Songhai would accept Jesus Christ if only a sum of money would come his way. Get out. Otto of Naples? Yes, you got that right. Who am I talking with? This is the king of Castile. As you know, I am also now the king of Aragon. As we have joined our royal families, my daughter Isabella is going to be marrying the old king of Aragon, bringing them together, the son of the old king of Aragon. I propose to you, as you were once part of the Aragon crown, is that you join under my crown and together we'll be prosperous and maybe even unite Italy. What say you? It's a great opportunity for us, but I need to say sorry. Well, in that case, good luck in your future endeavors. And I'll see you on the Thank battlefield! You. you will never reach greatness on your own. You must be part of my crown to reach your full potential. Let the crown of Naples fall under Castile again. Allow it. The, the Pope is ill. You gotta speak slow. My ears are hurt. Despite our best efforts, the Italians stood strong together. Fighting Naples would involve the entire Italian League. Instead, we set our eyes to the new world that so many others have talked about. And now, thanks to our explorer, we were able to see. But we were not alone in our colonial ambitions. Pope gathered the crowns of the Catholic world, and we discussed 
what would be done with the new world? So Tortoisius is happening now. Tortoises? Tortoisius. Here we have the Pope. We have the Kingdom of Norway. We have the Duke of Brittany. We have the King of Portugal, the King of England. And um, I think that's everyone. Listen, I can see the new world now. And now I know that the West does not lead to India. We ask for... for ages. Okay, you don't need to brag, you Norwegian. Does he have the arrogant trait, huh? Castile wants the Caribbeans and Colombia. Or what we call Colombia. Colombia, Named after my explorer who found it first. The what does... Norwegians are fine with you having most of the Caribbean, but we want Cuba for ourselves. The island of Cuba? You've uh, started the colonizing Havana! What is saying in this matter? Oh my god, he started He's Havana, got dude. Vikings. Dude! The, boss, the Pope got. This is gonna lead to war. Norway, this is gonna lead to war. Why did you have to get into the Caribbean? Why couldn't you go into some other lands, unclaimed lands? Stop your colonizing of Havana. You can still stop it. We can deal with this. Well, Let the Pope speak his mind. Can I just say my proposal? The Pope got the maps of Caribbean and Mexico from the Kingdom of Portugal. In my opinion, Portugal gets to decide who gets the land. <laughs> but can I just say my uh, small piece? I will not talk about this matter anymore. <laughs> We're willing to let the Spanish have Cuba and the rest of the Caribbean if the Spanish will aid us against the Aztecs. Spoken. Yeah. Who are the Aztecs? Portugal. Who Port who are the Aztecs? The Portuguese! The Portuguese are, are the one who showed me the maps. Empire in the middle of the New World. They reach from coast to coast. They're barbarians. Savages. Through the Pope, the arrogant Norwegians made an alliance with us to purify anyone who wasn't Catholic in the New World. On terms that the Kingdom of Norway would not colonize the Caribbean or Colombia. But the rest of the Catholics continued to bicker. Massachusetts and Vermont. Unlarp, so you can form Vermont. Uh, Relarp. Wait, 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 wait. Right now. Okay, uh, how about maybe, how about north I of Massachusetts? Swear to God, I swear to God, before he even said Massachusetts, I already started colonizing Massachusetts. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe a word of that. Mm. To make things worse, the King of France also got involved in these colonial talks. Oh, by the way, just to get out of the way, everyone's fine with Portugal getting the rest of South America, besides Colombia. All in no. favor? What? What do you uh, want? Said, what is France, 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 France. Wait, I didn't, what, did, what did people get? The dead body. Wait, there's still so much more LARP to happen. When it does, there will be an hour-long special on this channel for this campaign. Until then, you can join the live roleplay action now in twitch.tv slash absolute habibi. Sundays, 10 a.m. PST, 1 p.m. EST, and 7 p.m. CET. See you there.